guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Byers and if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Ariana and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Christian girl must-haves. Um, whenever I first started my channel, I originally decided that I wanted to do like a bunch of Christian videos on Christian topics, but for some reason I like got away from doing that, but I am back and I'm about to do like Christian video overload so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe um, but like I said in today's video we're gonna talk about the basic things that you need being a Christian girl Christian girl must-haves and um, I'm super excited to do this video so let's get into it alright guys so the first thing that you definitely need as a Christian girl is your Bible guys this is like the most important thing whenever it comes to being a Christian um, a lot of people act like okay how do I hear from God how do I get through certain situations in my life like where can I find guidance well guys it all starts here um and it's super important to get a Bible that you can understand um, I'm so thankful for like the NIV New International Version or the Message Bible different Bibles like that that make the Bible super easy to understand I encourage you guys to first find a Bible that you can read and that you can understand don't be like embarrassed because you don't understand understand like the King James Version or some deep translation of the Bible. Um, do what's best for you. The Message Bible is also a great version um, to read just because it kind of tells the Bible like a story. Um, but for me personally, I love the NIV version. Um, this Bible is just a standard one that I got from Walmart and it is at the beginning of each hopefully you guys can see this but at the beginning of each chapter it gives a summary um and an outline of the chapter and it just does a great job of breaking down the bible also there are bibles specifically for women uh specifically for teens so just find whatever bible suits you and read it um, i personally have the um bible app on my phone so i try to read the bible throughout the day um and i definitely try to set aside time at night before i go to bed to read my Bible um so just come up with a schedule that fits you personally and just to be honest sometimes you're not going to understand everything that you read in the Bible so if you come across something that you don't understand that's totally fine uh, one thing you can do is pray and ask God for clarity on what you're reading you can always go to Google and just type in you know the meaning of whatever scripture or whatever story in the Bible that you have questions about and also, if you know anybody at your church or maybe a family member who you feel comfortable talking to things like this about and who you can trust, um, just ask them their opinion on their interpretation of what you read so that way um, you can have a better understanding of what you've read. Alright guys, so the second thing that you definitely need as a Christian girl is a journal. This here, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, but this here's my journal. It may be hard to see because the decorations or designs on it or whatever are gold. Um, but this journal has absolutely been my favorite thing the last couple of months. I have really just been focusing on journaling. Now there are different types of journaling that you can do. Um, I know some people do a gratitude journal where they basically just write out what they're thankful for in their journal. I know some people do prayer journals, which is partly what I do in mine, where they just write down their prayers and just express to God um, everything that they feel through prayer, but instead of just, you know, saying it or thinking it, they write it down in their journal. And then some people just journal their day-to-day -day life and just, you know, basically talk to God about their day. Whichever you want to do or whichever you feel more comfortable doing is fine. I personally um, like to write down my prayers and write down, you know, what happened in my day-to-day -day life, which I'm so thankful that I have been writing down my prayers because here recently it has been so, so, so awesome being able to go back and look through my prayer list or, you know, the prayers that I wrote out and literally just see how God has been working and intervening in my situation because there has been certain things that I've gone through that I'm like, 
I really don't know how I'm going to get out of this one or how God is going to help me get out of this one. And then I go back through my prayer journal and God works it out every single time. So I'm so thankful. Um, so make sure that you have a journal and you write in it and you stick to it because I'm telling you, you will find so much joy and freedom and happiness through just simply journaling. All right, guys. So the next thing, the third thing that I encourage you guys to have as a Christian girl is worship music. Um, I absolutely love worship music and it literally helps get me through my day. Um, as you go through your day-to-day -day life, you encounter so many distractions and it's so easy to get distracted by how you feel or what's going on around you. And worship music for me personally just brings me back to God, putting my focus back on God. And so I encourage you guys to just get a couple, um, you know, Christian artists that you like listening to, whether if they have a CD, just like listen to their CD during your free time throughout the day or... Um, on you know your commute to school or to work or just whenever you have free time just listen to worship music and really just imagine yourself like at the feet of Jesus just worshiping him um, because for me personally it really just brings me back to what really matters because the enemy is going to try to get your mind to focus on anything other than God. He's going to try to get you to put your emotions and your feelings into, you know, how you feel based off of what you see or what you're going through. And that's not what God wants. So I encourage you guys to find some worship music. I love Tasha Cobbs. I love Hillsong. I love Travis Green. I love Jonathan McReynolds. I love The Walls Group. Um, just to name a few. I love Todd Delaney. Um, so I just encourage you guys to check out some of those or, you know, whoever you listen to. But just keep worship music playing. Anytime you have a free moment, just turn on some worship music and just worship God and just pour out your feelings and your emotions through that music and you will feel a lot better. So you definitely need worship music. Alright guys, so another thing that you can do as a Christian girl is to listen to sermons, guys. And I cannot stress this enough. Like, of course, you're supposed to read on your own and, you know, uh, read the word for yourself. But it's important to listen to sermons. A way that you can do that is going to a church. I think it's important that you find a great church home that you feel comfortable um, listening to the pastor or the preacher who is there and, you know, sitting under their word. I think that's super important. But also, if you are maybe in between church homes or trying to figure that situation out, you can always go to Google and type in, you know, sermons on love sermons on whatever the topic may be. And YouTube will pull up on uh, many sermons based on that topic. One preacher, well, pastor that I love to listen to is T.D. Jakes. If you have not heard T.D. Jakes, you need to go exit off of this video and type in a T.D. Jakes sermon on whatever topic you can think of because, oh, there's one on that topic and listen to it. Um, so that's just one way that you can gain clarity on a situation is listen to a sermon. I also love John Gray. Um, and recently I've started listening to, um, Dr. Tony Evans. I also love Stephen Furtick. There's so many different pastors that you can listen to, so many sermons that you can listen to, but, um, I like listening to sermons because it gives me a different perspective on God's word or something that God has spoken to me. Um, also you can hear like tons of confirmation through sermons and it's just a great way to hear from God. So I encourage you guys to look up different sermons and listen to those. Alright guys, so that's all I have for you in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Also, after you subscribe, be sure to click the little bell so that, that way you can be notified whenever I post videos. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below and I will respond as soon as I can and also um, make sure that you thumbs up this video if you liked it and again, subscribe to my channel. Um, so I'll see you guys in my next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye!